Well, thank you for coming today, um, for coming and listening to the story that I'm going to be telling today. Um, the last few weeks we've been in Matthew and Mark, and today we're going to be in John chapter 4. And we're kind of going back a little bit. I know we're, we're changing paces a little bit, <clears throat> but this is early on in Jesus' ministry. And um, we're starting off in John chapter 4, verse 1. And uh, I'm not going to read it word for word, but I will be reading through a little bit of it. So So when Jesus had learned that the Pharisees knew that he was baptizing more disciples than John, he decided to depart again for Galilee. And as he was going to Galilee, he passed through the region of Samaria, and um, near a city called Sakar, and uh, near the field that Jacob, of the well of Jacob, that Jacob had given his son uh, Joseph. So Jesus, he was wearied from his journey, he was tired, so he was sitting beside the well. And uh, it was about the sixth hour of the day, about noon, and um, a woman from Samaria came to draw water. And Jesus said to her, he said, give me a drink. Uh, the Samaritan woman said to him, how is it that you, a Jew, ask for me, ask for me, a Samaritan, for a drink of water? Because we know that the Jews and the Samaritans were historical enemies. <laughs> Jesus answered her, if you knew that the gift of God and who it is, who it is that was saying to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. The woman said, replied to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water of yours? Are you greater than our father Jacob? He gave us the well and drank from it himself, as his sons did his sons and his livestock. Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks from this well will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I will not be thirsty or have to come here to draw water. Then Jesus replied, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered him, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You are right in saying I have no husband, for you have had five husbands. And the man that you're with now is not your husband. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain. But you Jews say that the only worship that can take place is in the temple. Jesus said, Believe me, the hour is coming when neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know, and we worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. The woman replied, said, I know that the Messiah is coming, he who is called the Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Then Jesus responded, The Messiah you are speaking of, I am he. And then just then his disciples had come back and they marveled that he was talking with the woman. But no one said, what do you seek? Or why are you talking with her? So the woman left her water jar and went away into town and said to the people, come see a man who told me everything that I have ever done. Oh, he must be the Christ. And then it says, meanwhile, the disciples were urging him saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said, I have food <clears throat> to eat that you, cannot, that you do not know about. So the disciples said to him, has anyone brought him something to eat? Jesus said to him, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say there are yet four months? Then comes the harvest. Look, I tell you, lift up your eyes and see that the fields are white for harvest. Already the one who reaps is receiving wages and gathering fruit for eternal life, so that sower and reaper may rejoice together for here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labor. 
It says, many Samaritans from the town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. And that's the end of my story. So, who are the main characters in this story? Obviously Jesus. Obviously Jesus. The woman at the well. The woman at the well. And you can say Samaritans and Jews, according to him speaking of them, but they weren't directly in the story. Yeah, very true. <clears throat> um, and then later on, his disciples. His disciples, when they came back from Sakar from buying food. Yeah. So, um, what can we learn about Jesus from this story? Um, I feel like Jesus reaches out to those that are shunned. Mm -hmm. Or those that are less fortunate, or those that are that feel unloved, or the outcast. Yeah, and that's what he did. He reached out to her, mm -hmm. and he basically told her who he was. Yeah, mm -hmm. and John, she's the first one that um, he reveals his identity to. In John, that he was the Messiah, and John is the first one that he reveals to a, a woman, a Gentile woman, a woman mm -hmm. who was not a Jew. So not only was she a Samaritan, but she was also a woman. So mm -hmm. it shows that he came for the outcast and mm -hmm. the people who weren't. And the the people, lowest. The lowest of the, the low, lowest. the ones that weren't yeah. accepted by society. What can we take from this story and apply to our lives this week? Hmm. I feel like we can take... Um, you know, we need to be like Jesus. We need to reach out to those that are, um, are, you know, they're less fortunate than us or those that are hurting. And, um, I don't know, those that that nobody really care about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. You know, um, you know, the people on the street. Yeah. You know, you street ministry. You can, you know, go to door to door, or you know, just people that you don't, that don't come to church, yeah. that you don't see. Yeah. Or to everyone, yeah. nobody's beneath us. Yeah. Well, that's all for today. But thank y'all for <laughs> listening to my story and answering some the questions.